Hello. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a software business. My name is James and I will be your business consultant in this video. Now, before we start your software business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. In today's world, software is widespread, and many people and organizations cannot function without the programs on which they rely. Of course, these programs must be created, distributed, and maintained. That is the responsibility of software development firms. The software development industry is large and powerful. According to Ibis World, the software publishing industry has a $238 billion annual revenue and a 3.9% annual growth rate. More than 500,000 people are employed in the industry as a whole. The costs of starting a software development company can range from very low to extremely high. Typically, Money invested in a business goes toward, fees for website hosting and data storage, specialized programs required by a project, fees for copyright, trademarks, and patents, additional employees or contract workers. The difference in startup costs is primarily due to the number of employees and contract workers brought on board. Workers shorten the development timeline while increasing costs. A software development company's ongoing expenses vary as well. A program like Microsoft Dynamics 365 necessitates far more servers and far more personnel to maintain, resulting in significantly higher operating costs. A software development company's target market can be almost anyone, but it must be well defined. A clear understanding of a need that people or businesses have, and how a program addresses that specific need, is required for business owners. Software development firms have traditionally charged customers on a per license basis but many are shifting to a software-as-a-service model instead. Customers in this arrangement pay a monthly fee to use the developing company's program. This fee usually includes some level of support. Only a few outlying software development firms charge license or subscription fees. Instead, these businesses typically incorporate advertisements into their programs or provide training for a fee. The prices of computer programs vary greatly. Simple apps are frequently available for free or for a few dollars. Tens of thousands of dollars can be spent on complex enterprise solutions. For example, Angry Birds was previously priced between $0.99 cents and $2.99 but is now available for free. Microsoft Dynamics 365 can cost $190 per month per user. By offering additional services to clients, software development companies can increase their profits. Expedited support, additional training, and program customizations may be available at an additional cost. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a software business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy, an extension for education.